Um, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday the 13th. I hope it's been a lucky one. Um, what I wanted to do today was read another poem from War of the Foxes by Richard Sykin. I think my cat might get involved in this video actually. She's waiting. But I'm going to go ahead and read the Worm King's Lullaby. And if it helps... I like to imagine that there is a worm king with a little crown on and and he's going to sleep so it's very cute but that's really like I mean that's not exactly what the, what the poem's about but it's a good poem so it's a fun little visual from the title that's what I get from it but here I go <laughs> okay the worm king's lullaby one the holes in this story are not lamps. They are not wheels. I walked and walked, grew a beard so I could drag it in the dirt, into a forest that wasn't there. I want to give you more, but not everything. You don't need everything. Two. This is what they found on the dead man's desk when the landlord let them in. 28 pages, esoteric and unfollowable, written with perfect penmanship and a total disregard for any reader, as if the intended audience was a population not quite human. Angelic script, says the detective, lifting the pages, feeling their heft, and he wonders what he means, because it isn't. His partner nods, but ignores him. A park bench, white roses, dark coats, and white roses. Snow and repetitions of snow. It's hard to read, but pretty much how they found him. Dead on a bench in a black coat, the snow falling down. Twigs and blackbirds. Snow and red horses. The ghosts floating up, the snow falling down. The detective is weeping. And the black coat. Three. Someone has to leave first. This is a very old story. There is no other version of this story. Four. It's getting late, little moon. Finish the song. It's not that late. You are my moon, little moon, and it's late enough. So climb down out of the tree. Is it safe? Safe enough. Are you dead as well? The night is cold. It is silver. It is a coin. Not everyone is dead, little moon, but the big moon needs the tree. There is a ghost at the end of the song. Yes, there is. And you see his hand. She's coming back into There is a ghost at the end of the song. Yes, there is. And you see his hand, and then you see the moon. Am I the ghost at the end of the song? We are very close now, little moon. Thank you for shining on me. Five. He was pointing at the moon, but I was looking at his hand. He was dead anyway, a ghost. I'm surprised I saw his hand at all. All this was prepared for me. All this was set in motion long ago. I live in someone else's future. I stayed as long as I could, he said. Now look at the moon. So that was the Worm King's lullaby. Not all of us are going to agree on this, but if you were like a supernatural fan on Tumblr, or are, this poem was used like in Destiel gift sets. So it does, it is reminiscent of that time for me. And if you're wondering, this is literally my cat's, like this is my cat right now. Like this is, oh, oh my God, <laughs> she's so cute. She doesn't even know that this is, this is contributing. So cute, so stupid. What? But she wants to look outside. So I'm gonna let her look outside. Thank you for watching. Um, Please, if you have 
feedback or suggestions um, about what content you want to see next or want to see more of. The comment section's right there, and I would be looking at it. Also, Friday uploads may change to a different day of the week, so keep an eye out. Turn on the notification bell. I know that there's not that many people who watch my videos, but if you do like them, like, and you hit the subscription bell, I would, I would feel pretty honored. <laughs> I think, I think Hermione would do. That's my cat's name. I feel like many of us might know that. I'm many of us. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, and because, you know, I don't bite. But maybe I do. And yeah, see you. Actually, I wanted to make a special addition to the end of today's video. When I say I don't bite, but maybe I do, today it's a little bit more meaningful because I got to go to the dentist for the first time since May 20 2019. And it was like a free thing if you're a student. And you know, cleanings, they're really expensive. Insurance forms are hard and you still have to like pay it and then get reimbursed. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe there's something I didn't even figure out yet. But anyways, what I'm saying is, I got to go to the dentist, get my teeth cleaned for free. And I feel like very, like, like a winner about it. So now when I bite, it, it'll feel different because they're fresh. But I don't bite, right? So, well, maybe I do. Anyways, bye. <laughs>